Welcome to the Forbidden Desires podcast. This is going to be the first episode of a series called Say Sex. This series is an extension of the It's Okay to Say Sex campaign brought to you by Central Innovations TV, which can be found on the YouTube platform. The It's Okay to Say Sex campaign works to normalize the word sex so that we can have a better quality of life. So this series is going to cover all different types of um, occupations, different types of sexual orientations, just different types of people that will speak to you on their behalf and, and their ideals of what sex is and how it impacts what they do, what they specialize in. Today's series is starting with a bodybuilder. I know, right? I have so many questions. How many times have you looked at a bodybuilder on TV and you're like, oh my God, I wonder, like, is his penis small? <gasps> what? I know. I think about things like that too. Well, guess what? We're going to take care of that all today. We're going to get all that answered and we're going to talk to a natural bodybuilder today. We're going to get to know everything you ever wanted to know about sex when it comes to bodybuilding. Our first guest, his name is Mr. Wilson. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's jump right on in. Um, Mr. Wilson, basically this interview is for the normalization of the word sex, okay? We are going to uh, pick your brain about sex and bodybuilding, okay? Okay. Okay. So I don't know about any of the viewers, but I have never, and I do mean never, I've never met a bodybuilder in real life. So I don't know, like never, never met one in real life, but I've always had like questions about like sex and like just different things that concern um, a bodybuilder because a bodybuilder, you know, they use their body and, you know, we know that exercise and anything like that can kind of like um, increase or decrease your libido, right? So with that said, my first question to you is, uh, what is your sexual orientation? Uh, my sexual orientation is female. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a straight guy. I love females. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else, of course, but they have to do what they decide to do, but female body myself. Okay. They can say and I don't want nothing else. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're a heterosexual. Okay. Perfect. And on a scale of one to ten, how comfortable are you with saying sex? Seven. Seven? <laughs> and the other three, everybody else is going to get up first, and then I come in with the rest of you know? Okay. So. Okay. So on, on, a, on a seven. So you wouldn't just you wouldn't just go out and start talking to somebody about sex. They, like, have to bring you the conversation. Yeah. You got to bring it up first and let me know you're comfortable with it. Okay. Like, okay. Like, somebody you know i'm not i'm, I'm I, I like to kind of feel people out first and then kind of engage with them okay okay perfect um okay now let's let's get into some of the the real meat 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 right how did you learn about sex who taught you about sex um well <laughs> I, I had a experience when i was about 13 years old okay uh Introduced me to sex. Uh, I didn't know much about it, but what was on TV or you know radio until then. Uh -huh. uh, aspect was 13 years old when I met a uh, older teen. Uh, I was 13. She was about I guess 16, 17, mm -hmm. uh, and she knew what she wanted. She knew how to do it. Yeah, she knew, she, knew what she was doing her. So she was your your first introduction to sex. Period. Yeah. yeah. That, was yeah. it a good experience at least? From what I remember, it was it was eventful. It was it was oral sex involved. It was uh, uh, it was it was all of the above. Actually, it was kind of kind of it was it was a it was it was fast. It was fast. As far as everything at once, you know how some people got they have a different kind of sex in it. Like it was like everything. Oh, oh my God! So okay, okay. So you got you got a, an early crash course, basically. Yeah, I mean, and from there, it's been. This has been good. <laughs> <laughs> You've been good ever since. 
Yeah, I think so. I think I had, that first time was uh, the first introduction for myself. Okay. So as as a bodybuilder, right? The number one question I think a lot of women want to know is: Does bodybuilding does it affect penis size? So that would take me to the first question with the uh, natural bodybuilding and the unnatural bodybuilding. Okay. Uh, the, Go ahead. Take us there. The, the enhancement drugs usually take away from, well, in my beliefs, uh, from what I've heard. Not, I mean, not my experience, of course. Has to <laughs> take away the thighs, I guess, or mm-hmm. the stamina, or, you know, things of that nature. Uh, of the penis. I'm not really sure. Again, I, I haven't read down that road before, so I'm not really sure that I'm fixing it. Uh, with the enhancement drugs, just working out and just eating uh, has enhanced my body naturally, I believe. Uh, and it doesn't affect my size at all. I think I'm been pretty, pretty blessed, you know. Uh, okay. So it is not true that it just because you body build that your penis shrinks or it's bigger. Is that true? Right. Well, well. So I, I, I work out. I, I, okay, okay. So I've worked out before and not and not clean diet as I do now. Um, and you know my perform my performance wasn't bad then, uh, but I can also tell as I clean my diet up more, I feed my body the m- more nutrients, more vitamins that it needs. Um, it, it's a it's a lot more stronger if that makes sense. Oh, uh, you got you got a strong penis. Yeah. <laughs> It's rock, it's rock hard, like rock body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hard, hard, like, but you, you, you go. Cool. You know I mean, my, my libido was up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm exercises that you know uh, that will cause me to, you know, uh, for that natural growth hormones and things of that nature to kind of keep me. You know, uh, keep my, my my blood flow going, things of that nature. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay so, n- so not all bodybuilders have small penises, and not all bodybuilders have big penises. Right. But right. it can make it stronger. It can. Or weaker, depending on the type of stuff yeah. you're ingesting. Yeah, the, okay. the type of work. So on and so forth. Don't make difference. Okay. Okay. See, I I never knew that. I I was under the impression that either either one it was super small because like of the the muscle pulling, you know, contracting of the muscle, you know, it get. But it also makes sense that it would get bigger because if you're working muscles, then you probably work that muscle. But if it is getting bigger, how? Since you're not putting no dumbbell on your penis, so I'm just wondering. Like I say, it, it, it's able to, uh, I, I guess, pull in more blood because I mean that's that you gotta think about it. When a when a penis gets hard, that's where all the blood rushes to. Uh, and I, I just think again with blood flow, that helps with the libido as well. Okay. Um, you know, it's just just to, again the diet, get, eat more natural foods, uh, eat more live foods, okay. uh, more vegan stuff. You know, I'm thinking I. I Animal proteins and things like this sometimes here and there would definitely help with that. Okay. Okay. See, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. No problem. Now let's talk about um, what are some things that you can do to increase your libido as a bodybuilder? Uh, so again, they have supplements, libido supplements that are kind of help with uh, just keeping that at, at, a, at, a, at a level where it should be. Uh, again, foods, beets. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, and this will this will increase your sex drive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as well. You might not know the answer to this, but I have a question about female bodybuilders. Okay, so I know that at a certain body fat, you know, like if you decrease your body fat, that women cannot have babies. Have you met, or is it prevalent that there are female bodybuilders that can't get pregnant? So with with most women who train and work out for competitions, they know that their body fat is low during that during that short period of time for a competition. 
let's say that last good competition, you get your body fat low as, you know, below 10, 10%, 8, 9, 7, whatever, whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. uh, then it's, it's going to shoot up because of the food you be taking in the night of. Okay. Um, you will replace a lot of that body fat with the food that you eat in over the next couple of days, so you, your body kind of gets back to the level it should be at. Okay, so um, after a competition is over, then, you know, you put the fat back yep. on. And, okay, so is that the same for you, too? When your competition is over, do you intentionally put fat back on your body? Yeah, I, I just eat more. I mean, because for a competition, you have to look a certain way. Okay. And in order to look that way, you have to eat a certain way. Okay. Uh, up, until, up until that particular time, you go on stage and come off stage. Uh, once you come off stage, it's it's free game. I mean, it's back to you know. Okay. And is your support. is your is your your is sex life different during a competition as opposed to not? It is because you're a little bit more tired uh, because of the lack of food, um, the lack of energy. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. You still have I, I personally still had a sex drive. Uh, but I can also tell that you know it wasn't as high as it is now. Right. When I when my and my calories aren't as low, um, more so than again we're getting ready for a competition. Okay, so oh, see that that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, here's the segment of the interview where you get to ask me one question, and then we're gonna close out okay. the interview. So what you got? Okay. Um. Uh. Is there a difference between men and men who work out and men who don't work out? In the bedroom. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so the men, huh? I'm listening. Okay. So the men that work out, you can tell like they're, they're more active in the bedroom. Uh, they do their penis is a little bit harder. That's true. Um, but they can actually, they can do more in the bedroom. It lasts a little longer because they got a little bit more stamina. You know what I'm saying? And the visual effect is way better. I don't know. I don't know about anybody else, but I like to look at some things. You know what I'm saying? So when I have a very nice sculptured body to look at, I'm, I'm coming. Period. Let's not let it out. I see. Yeah, you, you see you brought out the guns. <clears throat> Yeah, I was, I was, I've been covered up all day, and it's, it's, I'm bringing grocery in, about to cook my my meals for the week, and uh, cook my clients' meals for the week. So, oh, that's yeah, gotta, dope. Okay, I'm so good. um, so you you cook and client meals. Can you tell us um, like if there's any like services you provide or anything like that? So I offer several different services. I offer my personal training services, why it's it's contest prep to weight loss to muscle gain. Uh, I offer meal meal plans as well as meal prep services. Okay. So I actually cook my clients as well and uh, get them started eating healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, I will also be hosting uh, fitness competitions here starting at the end of the year, uh, here in St. Louis as well as in Texas. Uh, so I'm working on both those dates now. Um, and then uh, I do apparel. I sell apparel, uh, fitness apparel. So food, training, fitness apparel, supplements. Also, mm-hmm. I will be coming out with a supplement here soon too. Uh, your proteins, your pre-workouts, your BAAs, your fat burners, your multivitamins, your uh, you you name it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have my name on it. So okay, um, that's awesome. Okay, so and are some of these services offered online virtually? Yes, I actually have an online program as well too. So okay. yes, you can go to www.rockbody r o q b o d y dot com. Okay. You see some on there. You see the the call the line. You see the meal, the meal plan, the meal prep. Uh, you see the training. You see your stuff. You see everything on there right now. Okay. Okay. And you do, you do, um, you train men and women. Yes. Yep. Train men, women, kids, babies. We train their grandmas. <laughs> now, I, you, I know you. Uh, you trained Mr. Uh, Mr. Climax, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, see. Yeah. So I, you know, what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for an amazing. Uh, trainer, uh, Mr. Climax was trained by yours truly there. So, and yeah. I've seen, I've been able to see the growth. So he did a good job. He yeah, already probably so. Yeah, he already been real proud sometimes. <laughs> he be walking around thinking he looked cute or something. Put the put some clothes on. I know, put some clothes on, boy. Anyway, okay. Problem this summer, only because he's putting the work in and he's eating correctly, like I like we like we talked about. And just working hard, like we talked about. So he he he's got 
he came a long way and he's going to come even farther on everybody. So it's going to be cool to watch the transformation. Yeah, absolutely. Again, thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you so much, Rock Body, for coming on and, and talking to us a little bit about you. <laughs> About your sexuality and being open and sharing with us, because I know these are private moments, you know, and, and, lot, and lots of people seem very, um, it's very taboo. So I really appreciate you coming on and sharing with us your lifestyle. Appreciate the invite and I'll definitely be here in case you guys need anything else. Okay, now before you go, we got to get you to say it. Tell the audience okay. it's okay to say sex. It's okay to say sex <laughs> when somebody else... You said it's okay to say sex, say sex when what? I said it's okay to say sex when somebody else said it first. <laughs> I just say the first part, not the second part. No, I'm, I'm serious though. It's okay to say sex. I mean, that, it's, 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 it is what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an odd conversation. But once everybody start getting out there and start realizing how free they can be, you start to feel free. Exactly. Okay. So. <laughs> you feel free? I feel free. Will somebody else feel free first? <laughs> well, we'll, look, we'll start the conversation first for you. There you go. That's all I ask. And once you start, I'm in there. I'm like, oh, that's what you like? And we'll have it. And so you're going to talk about that. Okay. Well, thanks again, Mr. Wilson. I really appreciate you coming on. And we will catch up with you later. We will check out all your stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks. I'm here. Please, I'll be here. All right, y'all. Appreciate it. Okay, bye. Thanks for tuning in to the very first episode of this series called Say Sex. Mr. Wilson laid it down for us, letting us know how sex life is as a bodybuilder and that it's okay to say sex. Tune in to the next episode. Every episode is posted on Sunday. Make sure you go over to Instagram at forbidden underscore desires underscore podcast to check out all of the latest episodes and anything you might have missed previously. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, it's okay to say sex. Hashtag say sex.